Sports Talk Daily with Andrew Hustler Patterson and Michael Remus. Hey, what's up, Winnipeg and Manitoba? Andrew Patterson here with Winnipeg Sports Talk and a huge day for the Winnipeg Jets organization. In just a few moments down at Canada Life Center, we will see the official press conference for the re-signings of both Connor Hellebuck and Mark Shifley to identical seven-year, $8.5 million AAV extensions that will kick in next season. Uh, the Jets, of course, beginning the season tomorrow night in Calgary. So there is lots going on around the hockey club and around the entire National Hockey League. Now, we will be live with a regular show coming up at 1 p.m. to break it all down with a number of guests and, of course, get ready for NHL puck drop tonight. But with uh, such a uh, such a massive announcement that broke yesterday as Jet fans were getting ready to carve up turkeys and enjoy the Thanksgiving Day long weekend, we wanted to have it for you live here on the program. So welcome to everyone that's joining us live. The press conference is going to join us very quickly. And we will also welcome all of your comments in the Winnipeg Sports Talk chat. Big shout out to everyone that's already jumped in. I know that we uh, kind of put this together quite quickly. Um... But as we said yesterday, this uh, <laughs> this news yesterday, I think, caught everybody off guard. It had been, you know, a topic that had dominated the offseason. And it had most certainly had the potential to take on a life of its own through the NHL campaign. Now, uh, for the Winnipeg Jets, they have uh, some cost certainty going, uh, going forward and, uh, of course, have two of their most important players locked up for the foreseeable future. Again, we'll get into every angle of these extensions today with a number of guests on Winnipeg Sports Talk live coming up at 1 p.m. Um, but very quickly, we will take you to Canada Life Centre for the official announcement and introduction, or reintroduction, I guess, of Connor Hellebuck and Mark Scheifele, who have the potential to play their entire National Hockey League careers right here in Winnipeg. Um, you know, we'll discuss what this means for the club going into this year, short-term, long-term, as well as what it does to maybe bust the narrative that uh, everyone wants to get out of Winnipeg ASAP. Um, you know, we'll also break down the value of the contracts. I can tell you myself, was a little surprised that the Hellebuck number wasn't uh, more um, but I think that there's a lot of credit that d deserves to be given to the Jets front office, led by Kevin Sheveldayoff, to get this done. And fascinating a lot of ways that both players bought in to be getting identical deals um, where you know no one's making more than the other. Um, so this is a, a huge day for the organization. Um, and certainly, I think we've seen changes the tone around the fan base going into uh, into the National Hockey League campaign. Of course, the Winnipeg Jets are beginning the season tomorrow in Calgary uh, with their first game of the year and then back for the home opener on Saturday afternoon, a 3 p.m. game against uh, old friend Paul Maurice and the uh, defending Eastern Conference champion Florida Panthers. That's a 3 o'clock game, and again, the festivities are going to get going downtown at noon with that plaza in the party between noon and 2.30 p.m. before everyone rolls into Canada Life Centre and gets ready to drop the puck on another home schedule for the Winnipeg Jets. It's going to be a very interesting next few days. To be perfectly honest, if it was a different way, I could have seen them having a party in the plaza last night for excited Winnipeg Jet fans when this news broke. Um, big shout out to everyone that's uh, jumping in with us uh, live on the uh, live on the stream right now. We will, as I mentioned, be uh, heading over to Canada Life Centre in just a minute. Um, just while we uh, while we wait, let me just quickly bring up Michael Remus here because uh, Remo and I will get into this more <laughs> on the program today. Uh, but uh, I will always remember that call I got from you on the way back from Minneapolis in the middle of North Dakota. Um, borderline hyperventilating, dropping the news. And it certainly was about as stunning and uh, and in a lot of ways out of the blue as anything we've heard with this hockey club over the better part of the last 11 years. Yeah. Um, wow. Uh, so, uh, I was looking at my phone yesterday about to do a puzzle with my son. I, you know, I get an alert and it's like, Oh, uh, Mark Shafley and Connor Hellebuck are available for a press conference at 1130. That was the start of the email that the Jets PR sent out. And it was like, oh, seven-year ex identical extensions? 
I was like, oh my God. And I screamed and my, uh, my wife saw me, my reaction and thought like, you know, something, you know, horrible had happened. And then was almost relieved when she found it was just, you know, contracts uh, to Mark Shifley and Connor Halbuck ran downstairs, got on the social media for Winnipeg Sports Talk, you know, put it all out there and then called you. And it was very similar call to when um, they Paul Maurice was fired. Just that kind of shock <laughs> that, you know, I think that one maybe you saw coming. Uh, this one was out of nowhere. We talked about it all summer. What are they going to do? And we finally have our answer. And I think I had said here that I could see Mark Shifley staying just because you know, I thought they were kind of married to each other. But to sign both of them, I think it's great news uh, for the organization. I think there will, will be probably some pain at the end. But in the short term, uh, to stay competitive, if you're not looking to do a rebuild and you want to stay you know, stay in there, I'm seeing a lot of projections having the Jets right now, uh, more likely than not to make the playoffs. Uh, I think this is very good news for them. And I said it does signal a lot to the league and the players, hey, they're committed to winning and committing to the players. And crazy to think these two guys spending their whole careers in a Winnipeg Jets uniform. Yeah, and again, I mean, we'll get into this more extensively, um, you know, today on WST, and we will go to the press conference as soon as it begins down at Canada Life Centre. Um, but, I mean, I, I was of the opinion that, you know, the Winnipeg Jets, I mean, so much um, would depend on what happened in the first 25 to 30 games of this season because of the contract situations regarding two of their most important players, their Vesna Trophy winning goaltender, and a guy that has been um, basically a point-of-game player throughout his career and is coming off 42 goals. Um, having both of those players signed and committing to Winnipeg, regardless of the message that it sends to the fan base, regardless of what the message it sends to the rest of the league, um, hell, never mind the message that it sends to the other players, the members of the Winnipeg Jets in that locker room, um, I think in a lot of ways it completely removes all questions about the direction of the club, um, what they're trying to accomplish this season and in the future. Um, and at the same time, also um, absolutely reinforces that two players that have been so important to the Winnipeg Jets, and both have arguably been um, underpaid based on market value with what they brought into the organization, being rewarded, but also buying into continuing to be part of this Winnipeg community and the Winnipeg Jets organization. So there are so many angles to it, but... Um, it, it very, very clearly um, reinforces everything that management and the organization has said. This is a team that plans to be competitive. They feel they've got a quality team. They feel that they may be better than they were last year with the uh, trade of Pierre-Luc Dubois, a deeper club. Um, and obviously some question marks. To how does Cole Perfetti fit in in that center? Can he stay healthy? Nikolai Ehlers' status? Um, that actually was one of the funny things that we, uh, well, yesterday, Rimo, I was texting you as we were heading back from Minneapolis saying, what's the latest on Ehlers? Did he practice? Um, that was good news. He's declared himself ready to play. He was a full participant. He should be in the lineup tomorrow in Calgary. Um, but very, very quickly, that was almost an afterthought yesterday as, um, well, the bomb dropped. Two of them, in fact, that um, these two extensions had been signed and uh, the ho rest of the hockey world opened their eyes, went, what the heck? And then looked to Winnipeg. Yeah, that was big news. Uh, big news that they signed. I mean, every podcast talking about it, big seven-year deals. And I was very curious what was going to happen with these two players who are 30 years old. I think there's certainly some risk involved. You've seen contracts like this, you know, near the end uh, get a bit hairy. But uh, again, short term. Great news. And, you know, we were going to talk about, you know, thinking about topics for Winnipeg Sports Talk this season. The trade deadline was going to be a big one. Well, are they going to trade these guys? What if they're in a fringe playoff spot? Do they, are they going to sell? Or how can they buy when, you know, when you think that these two guys uh, may not be here long term? Well, having them locked up now, you have to think if the Jets have a first half, you know, like they did last year and are able to continue that into the second half, well, maybe you're looking at adding at the trade deadline. And I don't think that's something that we had thought about at all, um, you know, just all summer. We assumed one of them would be gone. You'd have to trade them, get what you can. And instead instead of, you know what, they looked around, uh, Mark Shafley, they weren't able to get a, a trade back of you know, what they wanted. It worked out for Dubois, Connor Helbeck, the teams maybe scared off uh, by the dollar value. And I think good for the Jets locking up these guys seven years. And I, uh, you know, very exciting for the organization. And look, you hear Hellbuck say he's going to wants to win a cup. You heard that 
in the beginning of he training said he camp. He will win a cup. He says he will. And we all <laughs> thought, well, you know, he doesn't, you know, there was the report in the athletic this summer that he definitely won't be signing here. Well, I mean, I think the insiders at the athletics certainly taking an L. It shows you how much stuff can change, but I think it does signal if Hellebuck believes that this management has what it takes to win a cup, you know, maybe other players will buy into that as well. Yeah, I'm really interested to hear what we uh, get from both Mark Shifley and Connor Hellebuck uh, in the press conference. It'll be beginning momentarily. Um, the uh, discussions of, you know, foregoing unrestricted free agency, which is something that, you know, seemingly every player, especially players of their caliber, um, you know, would like to test out. Um, and as I say, credit to the Winnipeg Jets for getting this done. Um, I don't think many people saw, uh, many people didn't even see one extension coming, never mind two. Um, and then to be done at identical figures, to be dropped at the same time, the, uh, you know, just two days before the regular season, um, a pretty spectacular move uh, all around. Now, um, you know, we'll get into, you know, pros and cons, um, you know, what this means for both players coming up on the program. Um, but I will say this. I, I mean, it was it was very clear that I think, you know, in addition to, you know, the hockey side of this, um, this was for the majority of Winnipeg Jet fans, uh, very welcome news because, you know, for how long have we been told by so many uh, outside of the market that everybody wants to, you know, if they can get out of Winnipeg, they will. Well, we've just seen Kevin Sheveldayoff do it again, uh, retaining two longtime Jets with major extensions, um, very similarly to uh, what happened, I mean, with Dustin Bufflin going into free agency before, um, as well as longer-term extensions for younger players like Nikolai Ehlers and, of course, Kyle Connor. Um, it, it is going to be tough to say that the Winnipeg Jets can't retain their players going forward, Remus, when, um, you know, all of the body of work up until yesterday and then maybe the most significant signing announcement in the history of Jets 2.0 with the uh, double extensions yesterday. Yeah, I never bought in. I mean, I think there's part of it where, yeah, they can't, you know, certain guys like Dubois and Truba wanted to, you know, they wanted to leave. And I guess Evander Kane, but I think that was different. Uh, situation, you know, guys asking for a trade, I guess, you know, line A and Rosovic. So there are players. However, I mean, you look at the other side of the coin, so many players have re-upped here long-term. Wheeler, Morrissey, Connor, Ehlers, um, who Paul Stasny, you know, coming back, guys waving no trade clauses. So, you know, I think maybe because of recency and Pierre-Luc Dubois, you know, making it clear he wasn't going to re-sign, you know, you thought that nobody... You know, wanted to play, but I don't think that's the case. There were, again, have been so many players here, Adam Lowry as well, who have committed to Winnipeg. And nice to see these two players um, for the next seven years decide, hey, or I guess plus one because they have one year left, but uh, decide that they're going to make their home here and be part of the Winnipeg Jets and believe in uh, what they're doing. And I think that, you know, if you're a fan of the franchise, you definitely feel uh, a lot happier. Um, you know, it was. Uh... <laughs> I mean the uh, the the after effects of this of these these signings I think are going to be uh, you know a huge part of well I think it goes without saying the next seven years um, for this team um, you know there is somewhat of trade protection specifically to the Hellebuck deal it looks like uh, it looks like, you know what we're gonna get to all this at one o'clock here we go uh, live to Canada Life Center for the official announcement of the extensions of Hellebuck and Shifley. Turn it over to uh, Toon Rock Director of Communications, Scott Brown, down at CLC. I uh, appreciate it. Thanks, everyone, for, uh, for coming. Um, obviously, a couple of weeks ago, we, uh, we had the opportunity to have a, a chat uh, before um, training camp started and uh, and I mentioned at that point in time that you know there's two exciting real exciting times of the year is training camp and uh, and, and when you start the playoffs but uh, we have a unique opportunity here to have a third uh, real exciting time here and this is uh, a real pleasure for me to uh, to be sitting beside um, Shaif and Heli here that uh, you know what they've committed to our organization, what our organization committed to them, speaks volumes um, about you know what the what they want. They want to win, and um, we've had opportunity to have uh, some some conversations together, and and um, you know it was very very clear to me in those conversations uh, you know two things, um, you know both of these players, both of these individuals have a uh, unique desire to win. 
and both of these players want to win with the teammates that they have here. And um, you know that was uh, music to my ears and music to uh, you know to, to everyone in the organization. So it was an exciting day yesterday. Um, you know we had an opportunity a couple of uh, days ago to uh, to spend a family day um, at Camp Manitou, and uh, the, you know the guys had some some time to uh, go on a fishing trip for some some great team bonding. Um, but now it's time to play hockey, and um, I think that's a real exciting thing. So congratulations to both of you. Thank you very much on behalf of the organization and the fans, uh, and um, we're real excited to uh, to take the next steps. So we have an opportunity here to sign. I guess you can sign either one. They're both the same. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, guys. Thank you. Okay, go ahead, Rick. Well, I just, uh, I think it's a fantastic day for our franchise, uh, the city of Winnipeg, province of Manitoba, and all of Jets Nation. You're looking at two world-class athletes that if they had wanted, uh, they could have waited to July 1st and pretty much gone wherever they wanted. Uh, but they've chosen to stay here with our franchise and uh, uh, and help us win. And our, our goal, obviously, is to win the Stanley Cup. They firmly believe that we can do it, and they're obviously going to be two very huge parts of doing that so it's again it's a fantastic day for all of us the teammates are thrilled the coaching staff is thrilled management's thrilled so uh, and I know it's a great day for our fan base so uh, congratulations again to you both and thanks for staying <laughs> I, I did just want to add uh, one more thing these deals don't get done um, without a lot of hard work um, you know in the background and um, specifically I'd like to thank um, you know uh, Helly's agent Ray Petkow who's here today and uh, Shice agent Craig Oster for uh, um, you know, for the tremendous work that uh, they did with uh, myself and Larry Simmons behind the scenes, uh, you know, to, to make this all happen. And, and uh, again, really appreciative of, of uh, the professionalism that, that went on there. So thanks to, to those individuals. Go ahead, Trace. Um, yeah, I'm just, uh, you know, I'm very honored, you know, first and foremost, I'm very honored and, and uh, you know, can't thank the organization, you know, Mark Chipman, Chevy, um, Bones for, for trusting in me as a, as a player. And, um, you know, obviously I was drafted here. I actually, my mom reminded me that I signed the deal on the eve of my first NHL game. So, um, or not on the eve, on the actual day. So, uh, you know, it's crazy how, uh, that's pretty wild. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, it's pretty wild how, how things happen. And, um, you know, there's nothing I want more uh, in this world than to, to win a Stanley Cup for the Winnipeg Jets and, and to do it alongside Helly, um, you know, to, to get this whole process done, uh, you know, with the, with the likes of, a, you know, a Vesna, a Vesna goalie um, like Connor. And, um, you know, can't think of a, a more hardworking, you know, dialed in, you know, athlete in our game. And, uh, you know, I'm lucky to, to be sitting beside him here today and um, you know, just can't thank thank the fans, can't thank you know my family um, enough. I uh, you know I'm, I'm tremendously honored and just very excited to, to get the season going. Go ahead, Ellie. Uh, that was well spoken. Uh, it's gonna be hard to follow. Um, yeah, I would definitely like to thank the organization, Chevy, Chip, Coach. Rick, I'm Wade Flaherty. I have so many guys to to thank. Mark, you're a big part of I mean, the guy I am today, um, you've definitely paved the way for me and a lot of players in this organization to, to do what's right. And um, when you're sitting back and you're gathering all the information you possibly can and you look around the league, you don't get a team that is as dialed as we are. And I think that leads with you, Mark. So thank you for being the player you are. And thanks, to the organization, for believing me. And um, I think that was the most important aspect when I, when I really looked at it is this organization believes in me the way I believe in myself. And that's kind of the, the way I've gotten to where I am now. And it's really hard to leave that. That, that breeds success. And I want to thank you guys a lot for believing in me the way I believe in myself. And, and now I'm ready to be a Jet for life and bring a cup to the city because I truly believe that we can get it done here. Okay, we'll take some questions from the floor. I think we'll start over here with Kelly Moore from CGOB. 
Uh, Kevin, uh, first off, Connor and Mark, congratulations. Uh, Kevin, uh, you joked about the contracts are exactly the same. Like, did you have Craig and Ray and Connor and Mark all in the room <laughs> hammering this thing out? Well, it was uh, it was a, a kind of a unique uh, situation how all things played out. And, and, you know, we didn't obviously go into the negotiation knowing where everything was going to come out. But, um, you know, again, kudos to, uh, you know, to Larry Simmons and, and uh, both respective agents for, you know, finding a unique strategy. One thing that was very, very clear from the moment that we started to get serious about, you know, talking about these contracts, uh, and, you know, it, it really, it, it warranted, you know, um, you know Helly and, and Scheif and myself to sit down and, and have some face-to-face -face conversations and talk about, um, you know, both sides' desire to everyone knew. But, you know, from that point on, it was very clear that the, you know, the desire was to get a deal done. And, and, uh, and sooner rather than later, you know, it, it's, it's great that we have this opportunity to go into the season, um, you know, with, uh, with this uh, uh, fantastic news. And I'll just one more question. Mark, if I could, uh, uh, your uh, idol being Stevie Y uh, and your association with Dale Howard, Chuck, how much more significant does that make uh, the decision that you've made? You know, I think those, those two guys uh, in particular are weighed on my, on my thinking a lot. Um, you know, obviously Dale being a being a jet obviously is a is a big one and um you know i got asked it actually last night by uh, elliot friedman so uh you know i was like are you really gonna pull it pull up the heartstrings at like 8 30 at night um but uh you know it's it's a it's a, it's a tremendous honor you know i'll never be dale howard chuck but uh to know that he's uh you know up there watching down on all of us and knowing that I, uh, you know, I'll be a lifetime Jet is, uh, is, pretty, is pretty phenomenal and definitely uh, gives me the chills. So I'm, uh, you know, very honored and, you know, very, very excited. Go ahead from the Winnipeg Free Press, Ken Reed. For both of you, why was it important to be a lifetime Winnipeg Jet in making this decision? You know, I think it speaks a lot to the guys in the locker room. Um, we've said this since day one that, that we get along so well. And this team meshes so well that if the guys around us know that we care and we truly believe in this city and these guys around us, I think that helps them really kind of figure out where this team's going. And that's one direction, that's to win a cup. I, I think once you have that direct line and that direct goal and you know everyone around you has that same mentality and that same line, I think it speaks volume to what you can achieve and it helps you get to where you want to go. That was pretty well put. <laughs> um, you know, I, you know, I'm the same way. You know, me and me and Connor are both very, very competitive, and and we want to win a cup here. And um, you know, we've had a lot of conversations with Chevy, with with each other. You know, with a lot of guys on the team, and and you know, our goal here is to is to win. And um, you know, obviously, this this is a big step. And um, you know, I believe we have we have such a great team here. We have such such you know, I have such tremendous friends that are you know friends for life that are that are in that locker room. And um, you know. We want to win. We want to win. We want to win a cup in, in Winnipeg, and there'd be nothing more special than than doing that. And um, we know it takes a lot of hard work, but we all have a lot of hard workers in that room. We have a lot of guys that that uh, you know eat, sleep, and breathe uh, you know Winnipeg Jet hockey, and that's uh, that's all we want to do. Go ahead, Murat. Um, this question is for Connor. I remember in the spring we were talking about your 2018 extension and you said one of the reasons why that was so important at that time was you believed in the team growing into a winner and your decision was made in part by how much talent was around. Have you given thought to these contracts that you and Mark have signed could be that for the next generation of people retained in Winnipeg who are thinking like, hey, they've got their Vezina goalie, their number one center, that makes it an attractive place? Definitely, and I want to start with thanking a couple of people that I think I might have missed on my opening statements. I want to thank um, Wade Flaherty, the goaltending coach. I want to thank Randy Wilson, my summer goaltending coach. I want to thank Ray Patkow, my agent. I think those three guys give me so much information to really make the right decisions and, and get my game going in the right direction. Um, that being said, I know Shife has seen me in the summer and seen what we do in the summer, and he knows what we're doing, what we're doing is right. So when we sign these contracts, he not only knows what I'm doing in the summer, but now he knows that I'm all in. So for him, I would imagine that he feels pretty good about coming to the rink every day and giving his all. So if you're saying for the next direction or next generation coming in, I got to imagine they feel the same way, but you should probably ask them because they can give you a lot of insight. Um, all we can hope for is that we're being good role models and showing what hard work really is. 
Okay, we'll take one more question. These guys are going to do scrum, so we'll just take one more. John, if you want to ask that question. A question for both Mark and Connor. Congratulations, too. Um, I just wonder, when you spoke to us at the beginning of training camp, it sounded like there was uncertainty as to when potential contract talks might have continued. So what was the deciding factor for both of you that it would get done now before the season began? You know, I can probably talk a little bit about that. Um, you know, during the summer, you know, we obviously have had lots of different conversations on various different levels. We really didn't, you know, start into the negotiation process. But I think what, what you know, really for, for, for me when I started talking to them is, you know, it goes right back to the draft. And you know, when we, we made the trade, um, you know, and, and acquired the players that we did, um, the, the message that we wanted to get out there was that we were going to try to win. And um, that that was the direction going forward. And, and you know, we needed the summer to, to go through to, to make sure that, you know, the process, uh, you know, was going to be followed and um, like I said when we got a chance to sit down uh, at least I know in my perspective when I got a chance to sit face to face with with both of, of these uh, you know gentlemen and, and and explain where we're at um, that's really when for us when the process uh, you know had started with uh, the negotiations in Ernst and um, you know that's what I kind of alluded to I, I think in in the press conference there is that um, you know there's the contracts will be the contracts I wanted everyone these players specifically to feel like the process was in place um, for them to feel comfortable that uh, um, of where the organization was going. Okay, everybody, I think that'll wrap up the formal proceedings. As I said, uh, uh, each will be available for a scrum. I think we'll start with the uh, players individually first. All so right, that they there can you go. have it. That is, uh, that is the official contract signings for Mark Shifley and Connor Hallebach. Historic day for the Winnipeg Jets organization. And um, certainly interesting to see all the comments from the fans here in the WST chat. And uh, we're just getting going today, folks. Huge show coming up at 1 o'clock p.m. Mike McIntyre is going to jump on the program. Um, we'll also be talking to um, Jeff Hamilton and Mike Kelly from the NHL Network uh, with his thoughts on the extensions and, of course, opening night in the NHL tonight. So, Make sure to join us. Uh, if you're with us live right now uh, on the stream, we'll be back in one hour, 1 p.m. Central, to fire up a massive edition of Winnipeg Sports Talk daily on NHL opening night on a historic day here in Winnipeg with the uh, re-signings of Connor Hellebuck and Mark Shifley to identical seven-year extensions. Thanks for being with us, and we'll see you at 1 p.m. on WST. Oh, my God! Oh! Shut it down! Thanks for tuning in to Winnipeg Sports Talk Daily. Make sure to subscribe on YouTube and your favorite podcast feed at winnipegsportstalk.com.